I love you, a bushel and a peck and a hug around your neck. Woo! All right, welcome to Cat's Prayer Corner Podcast. I am jumping on just for a short, quick little podcast to ask you to, um, if you are brave, if you are willing to reach out to me and join me on my podcast and tell your testimony. Tell what God has done in your life. What have you struggled with? What storm are you willing to share where God moved in your life and it was incredible? I just want to share these stories and have testimonies out there so that people can feel like they're not alone. I want women, this is for women, you know, and we... We are emotional, everybody's emotional, but we need to release these emotions that we're holding on to when it comes to our pain and our suffering. And when we can relate to someone else, and especially someone who's willing to talk to you, that can be so helpful in that healing process, right? And so I feel like, um, this was a God thing. I think he wants me to do this. And if this touches your heart and it feels right for you, then I ask you to step out in your bravery and tell your God story. And uh, just, you could text me. Man, always text me over calling me. I do not like talking on the phone. I don't know what it is. I'm an 80s baby. I should love to talk on the phone, but I'm faster at text and um, I respond to Messenger very quickly too. So if you're interested, you reach out to me, I'll get your email, send you the questions that I'm asking and we'll, we'll talk about it. I just wanna share a little bit of your life, your story, your testimony of how God moved. If you have some pictures to go with your story, I, I've been asking my ladies for that. Um, tomorrow we have our Women's Wednesday testimony interview. I think I like the testimony better than interview, but it's still a work in progress here. Um, tomorrow I will be posting Melinda's story. Now Melinda is in her 20s now, she's 21, but at 16 she attempted suicide. And there is a lot of pressure on our kids, on these teenagers, especially social media bullying and all sorts of stuff. And I think that she was so brave to come and speak this because it was very scary. And um, if you are struggling with suicide ideologies or ideas of this, you know, get help. Get help, talk to your people, talk to your community, call me, we can pray. Um, but don't live that feeling alone. Now we're never alone, God is always with us, but when we are dark and deep in our depression, it can feel like he's far away, but I just wanna tell all of you that are feeling depressed or unaware of his presence just know he doesn't leave you and it takes some just some checking in with him and some deep breathing slowing down your nervous system <sighs> breathing him in asking him to be within your breath be within your body and believe that he will be there with you i am not saying that Depression doesn't need medication. I actually am on a small dosage. This is a truth telling show of Lexapro. I've needed it ever since um, when I stopped breastfeeding Jack. I went through a crazy postpartum depression, just crying all the time and it was bad. And so I needed a little help and it, it is in my family history. So I think that medication, if you need it is worth it but also what the medication isn't going to handle um is like that deep healing right that that'll help our side effects and our hormones even um handling those but our deep stories that are within us 
I ask the Lord to breathe in his Holy Spirit and heal those stories. And uh, if you're brave, come tell me your story. Um, so I am asking you, I am begging you to be brave. I'm begging you to reach out to me. Um, I ask you to listen to the stories of these women and send it to people that you think may need it. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. I appreciate all your support and I appreciate the women who have done the interviews already. And I just appreciate God's spirit upon all of us as we move in this world to, you know, to help others, to help others get through the darkness. We're community and I want us to feel that. Yesterday, I'm just gonna tell you a quick story. I had a, a new client come in for a prayerful Reiki session, very important to her that I work with the Holy Spirit and it was beautiful. I shared that I had been laying hands since I was six years old and we had a really great time. She was here for a few hours actually, but before I, you know, I always pray before they come and I always like set intentions around the house and do all that clearing of my space and of my own mind and asking the Holy Spirit for me to be a, a vessel for him and all that stuff. And I, you know, opened up the Bible and then something happened. I just left it open and I had to go get something. And, I, and then my client showed up and I didn't actually get to read what was there. But what happened was through our conversation, the word on my page said, be humble. And it's Luke. 14 11 and it said for all those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted and uh, it worked out perfect for her it was so a god thing not for me well it was because i love seeing god work but it was for her and in that moment when we realized it we surrendered on the ground and we gave thanks and praise to God for showing up to us um, in that way. So I highly suggest um, spending some time. It does not have to be a long time. It can be just a couple minutes. Spend some time praying, breathing that intention into your mind to clear the de clear and get discernment and wisdom, clear the fog. God's not going to confuse you. He's not a God of confusion. Your best thought is that first thought. So we like to mess around, our brains are smart. So as you pray, you know, first thought, best thought. If you don't think you would have thought that, but you thought it, it's God. And embrace that, you know, he's talking to you. He's guiding you and, and he wants to hear from you. He's so excited when he actually hears from you. So, and he's the answer to our peace. It's so simple. It's he is simple it is an easy it's easy burden light it's easy to love and feel him if we just desire it take the time give him your day whenever it shows up and pray little tiny prayers, you know, through the day. You know, I, I like to pray gratitude prayers. I'm working on praying gratitude prayers when I'm mad. That's real tricky. It is helping me, like, be more peaceful with any sort of situation that may make me angry. I don't get angry very often, but if I do, whoo, do I need Jesus. <laughs> oh, we all need Jesus. All right, you guys, if this has inspired you, if it ha if you if this video has reached you and you don't know me, man, I feel like you're supposed to know me. Let's get together. Let's tell stories. If you are not in the area of the DFW area, um, which is where I'm at, I can do Zoom interviews. That's fine, too. I can, you know, if you're in a different country, cool beans, works out. So just putting it out there into the universe. And I love you guys. And thank you for listening to my podcast. 
uh, share it if it inspired you at all. Um, I hope you have a beautiful day. Lord, please be with the people that see this video today and uh, in their storms and their hearts that needs you the most. I ask that you penetrate deeply into the molecules of their pain, show up, and allow them to feel your peace. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, love you guys.